you can see our pound. I send to FYC. FYC. Show the balance. Yeah, I've got them. Uh, as I have an account, and my account was top up, I can create a token. Uh, in create a token. Let's let's give the name Paris symbol PR. It's uh, how many figures after the dot, and for example, one million tokens. Yeah, create. Here, in smart contract, I can add any additional information. Uh, we, sim we simplified the process in the, in the previous screen. And um, it is my account with my, and here I can see tokens. I can see tokens. A bit. Good balance. Mm -hmm. Okay, one second, please. Um, for example, here I have a range of tokens already in my different account. Yeah, success. As a rule, this process. Uh, yes, this token, PR, with one million tokens, it is a, um, it is a, it is a classical uh, creation tokens on, on our platform, and now we can, everybody around the world um, can, can, can use such process to create a token, and after that we might, we might send this token to my previous account. One second, I, I'm copying my account. As, as I have uh, some tokens, new tokens, I can transfer them. For example, 1,000 new Paris tokens, PR tokens, and I'm sending them, I confirm, and I can check, I can check I need to refresh. Yeah, this is uh, this is in my in my previous account. I need to update, and this is this is my this is my new PR PR tokens which was received in my previous account. The process is very simple. It's classical in, in some blockchains have the same workflow of, to of creating tokens. It's possible to use IPI, and every transaction is very simple, and everybody might, and every company might use our platform to create a token, and the main, the main characteristic of our platform, it is a fast blockchain, blockchain creation. You can see how blocks between uh, how Blocks is creating on our platform. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm glad to, to, to answer. Hi. Uh, what is the current size of the Blocks and the current size of your world blockchain? Um, size of the block, yeah. And size of the world blockchain. Uh, the size is, 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 is not fixed. It's, it's, it's flexible. It depends on any transactions which might be put inside the, in this block. The, the current size of your world blockchain, of your blockchain, of credits. Um, total block size, quantity of size, yeah, now uh, 3 million quantity. And each block is? Yeah, each, each block is, some of them just uh, now, many of them are empty because blockchain is quite young, but uh, in future it will be, will be fulfilled gradually because we just launched uh, about two months ago, we launched uh, our, our, our network, our mainnet. 
is yeah. the size, the, 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 the size of the weight of your blockchain uh, a concern or not? About 60 bytes. So all good with the questions? Yeah, there is one more. Uh, hi. So what's the consensus algorithm that I, you are trying to use? And my second question is, uh, what is that it makes it so fast or the, how are you able to achieve this transactions per second? Um, uh, consensus algorithm? Uh, consensus, uh, we have DPoS plus BFT, Byzantium for tolerance. Yeah, uh, 75 up to 100 nodes should should um, validate every transaction. It, it is a mix of, it, it is our patenting uh, consensus. Uh, it is a, a, an inside Byzantine for tolerance. Yeah. And there was a second part of your question. What was the consensus algorithm and second? Uh, what why, it's, uh, why the transactions are so fast? Like, what I have done for it? Uh, as I said, yeah, yeah, why it's so fast? Because we are, it is a new blockchain, new, new, uh, uh, it is our new development, and we we proceed transactions. My code. Um, if you go with, upstairs, my um, code, I, I will go. Not my one password. by one, and sometimes. Oh, uh, I will go with you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we we take some of them, many of them, and it, it is the first and the main. Um, our consensus mechanism um, is, is, motivates um, nodes have um, the fast uh, the faster network connections. Which node has the faster node connections? It means this node will uh, be the main node uh, in this current moment. Here, our CTO here. We can, uh, All right, that will yeah, we can the, explain you. Uh, yeah. I think we don't have much time. For the technical questions, yeah. you can meet the CTO is here. And they are exhibiting as well, I guess. Yeah. So yes, perfect way to get connected and of course learn more about this fast blockchain. Thank you very much, Igor. Thank you. Yeah, you can see, uh, the very good question, by the way. Uh, things are evolving in the blockchain scene and uh, the block size and the chain is getting improved day by day and we need projects like credits to come up fast and uh, bring value to this ecosystem. Right, moving on to the next thing, we have a very useful uh, use case of uh, blockchain on the art. So there's a global art platform on the blockchain which is getting developed under the leadership of uh, Norma and uh, she'll be telling us about it, this initiative and about its challenges that they are facing and opportunities in that platform. I invite Norma. She's the head, the director of the Norma Vision. So hi, um, I'm Norma de saint and I'm uh, working on the development of a global art platform uh, which is based on blockchain. But for now it's, um, it's not really, um, it's like to indicate in the half part, it's more uh, on the conceptions. And um, so I will explain a little bit uh, what, what, how we use it and um, uh, so I'm really um, 
I would be really thankful if somebody uh, is interested in the project and uh, to, to work with me on the, on the further development because uh, we are really searching for a team and for investors to, to work more on the project. And as well, um, I can see that there's also uh, things that are developing already in this, in this direction. So we were, uh, uh, yesterday we have been um, listening to this Mobart um, platform and I, I'm also in contact with uh, uh, Alpha Gallery, for which is uh, a uh, blockchain-based art uh, platform uh, from New York. So uh, I will start, but um, because I'm not a really good speaker, so I will uh, use a little bit uh, my notes. <laughs> so we are really searching for team and investors to build a global blockchain-based art platform with traceable data history. Um, so I, I present um, I present these topics. Uh, also on the blockchain meetup in um, one October in Slovenia because there was some kind of meetup, meetup blockchain for sustainable development goals and um, so I was yeah uh, so I'm directing Nora Vision Gallery uh, which so this photo is from, from my gallery and there are um, sculpture from um, ceramic tiles and uh, this is also one collage which we have also here from kind of study of uh, Melania and um, yeah. So, as I work in as an intermediate artist and a gallerist, let me share my big dream, which is to be engaged in creation of global blockchain-based art platform which will connect artists, dealers, museums, action houses, somehow like algorithm-based Instagram or Saatchi or Artsy platforms, but build it on blockchain, probably with cooperation with already existing blockchain using platform, very Art and Art Gallery. Every data, as well as intellectual property, will be packed and linked, and therefore automatically evaluated and monetized through likes, shares, transmissions and sales we are trackable and transparent transaction history. There is evidently a challenge of ownership of intellectual property, which should be therefore protected as well as transparently shared and linked with the new technologies of intermediate chains. How it will happen and which techniques exactly will be employed is to be discussed, developed and resolved through creating development process that we will manage through the leadership and the recursion applications. I would also like to share also Blue Ocean Marketing Principle as promoted by Brooke Hacker in Clancy, based on approach of innovation and cooperation instead of sailing in red broad ocean of pure and competitiveness. We hope to be involved in the creation of Society 5.0, a super smart society which will incorporate with high ethical standards with traceable facts, growing in evolution with continuous creation to make people's lives sustainable. So uh, here we have already one very sad um, certificate. Very sad is also a kind of uh, blockchain-based uh, platform for certificating uh, arts. So we have everything, uh, blockchain uh, address, um, yeah. There is another uh, also certificate of uh, portrait of in fancy. So I, I see uh, this project, global project, as a kind of coalition or kind of um, build a trust between different, uh, different um, societies, different um, platforms, like very Art, Artsy, Norwegian Gallery, Art Gallery, uh, like Mobart, which when we were um, listening yesterday, Donc, uh, for a fair trade, artistic expression will be used or, or serve as a unifying global tool.
So at Valerie, uh, I will read also their, their motto because it's kind of direction that we are uh, also agreed to, to work in. So Atto is the forefront of a new revolution in how artists, patterns, and galleries interact. Inspired by great art world innovations, such as Leonardo Castelli, and historical modes of arts patronage, we are on a mission to support and nurture artists through a first of its kind digital platform. The current system makes it financially perilous to become an artist. Now is the time to shift the market to an artist-centric model placing the focus and the power where they belong. At a special note about both empowering artists and giving back to the community, active, engaged philanthropy is an integral part of our platform. So also art, I was, I was speaking with Artsy, they are also interested for blockchain and also for female artists. They're Transcending limitating barriers, we commit ourselves to live an invisible and yet unseen, merging arts and art therapies, technology and education, bringing together parallel realities and enabling continuum of a unique and original evaluation of material or immaterial art and research work to decoding system and transparency of blockchain. So this is uh, one uh, installation. I made so it also illustrates a little bit this uh, uh, continuums of blocks and um, so. so my big challenge is to use and connect very old ancient ever ever even archaic techniques of ceramics or, or oil paintings with the most innovative and recent technologies of presentation are their blockchain technology. My main drive now is, is to inspire, to create massively with great expression and to get recognition on the global level in Europe, USA, Asia and Africa, to monetize mine and my artist creative work in cooperation with powerful galleries and to manage expositions in prestigious galleries in New York or elsewhere. We start uh, with a variety of different approaches, armed with a final, final attain level and circumstances, when I can create exceptional good work in painting, sculpture, installation, video, which will be placed in museums, galleries, hotels, business offices, or churches with proportional pay destination for my work. Every section should be traceable automatically. And as well as every step in career will be tracked, also in expositions. Uh, like um, in, in and packed in in uh, interchangeable data. Maybe I can citate also a good example of artist businessman Jeff Koons. In spite of the fact that lots of work, lots of people don't like him to work, I admire his organizational management skills as well as technical abilities. Actually, he was a broker during stage and continued to sell his works in advance before even they are executed. Or Damien hears with, it, with his eclectic work in diverse materials, mixture of formaldehyde installations, supported by Henri Pinot, Treasures of the Wreck, Venice 2017. Marina Abramovic is another good example of radical straight line. And also Portuguese artist Joana Vasconcelos and her big uh, installations in Versailles cast. So, uh, Basically, the platform we have been um, developing, uh, developing is with, um, with uh, Media Interactive, France Lens, Sabatier, Daniel Stoyan, Institute SDT, Edostanat, and Arnabel 9, Matthias Poslep. So, but I will go uh, and continue. So, there are people that are engaged. There we have some presentation. And now, um, so, uh, the platform could also offer a marketplace for exhibition of works of artists, including auction planning of the international level. 
The system is optimized and customized for all kinds of mobile as well as static devices and therefore user-friendly. Our platform presents the main convergence versus central point hub for all kinds of expressive and educative contents for achieving some common goals, promoting artists in different fields to the organized classified professional media, figurative art, abstract art, painting, sculpture, intermedia arts, performer arts, graphics, fashion design, architecture, architecture <coughs> design, jewelry. Uh, this is the actual platform, and I will show after on the computer uh, with all different um, different topics, different uh, classification. And um, I will be really very much enthusiastic if you find a group who, to connect and work together um, to to develop this new technology and to develop new kind of uh, art exhibitions, art, art uh, diffusion project. But I have been speaking also with some business angels, so they said that we need uh, about uh, one to two million euros to, to begin. So, yeah. Another project, which is a little bit linked with this, uh, was erotic, um, uh, erotic project, oh, initiated with, uh, by Nikola Hermilovic. And we have been developing this uh, project. Um, it was created during Davos Hackathon in spring. And it's about airplane ticketing system, in which arts were included only as the looks items into blockchain ticketing system. Project will be developed furthermore, starting from Estonia, but I include hereby only the part which concerns the looks items, painting, jewelry, special medical items. So, um, as an issue to the needs of the frequent flyer network, we create this special deluxe project product, slots, lines for personal jets, which can be used also for transportation on special deliveries. Unique digital identity, unique ID for every item. So descriptions, special features of the works, exact dimensions, technique, media production are included in a certificate with ID, sculpture, painting, aquarelle graphics, categories 2D arts, 3D arts, categorization as utilized in a prototype Norovision MITBC. Smart contracts between collectors, buyers, and artists can be established all inclusive in the looks application of an erotic app, which can at the same time be a platform for the international art auctions. Expositions, history of accomplished trades can also be added to the rating of an artist, and all that facts contributing to the evaluation process of an artist and his art works, speaking for living artists as well as this process can be very dynamic, whereas also valuable for historically proven works, which are already stocked in protected hangars directly, on the airports or basically in museums. Here a lot of links are also to be accomplished for the security as well as insurance policies, smart contracts. As people have their ID cards, which are absolutely unnecessary, even artists should have their special ID card to which has to be linked all his work and life as a project, as well in most cases, life is a vital part of an artist. So, uh, another project which is linked uh, to this um, is uh, Smart Villages, Art Villages. And uh, I was work. Uh, I was presenting this uh, in the in the frame of a workshop at the Bled this uh, spring uh, with uh, European Commissioner Violeta Bus, because she is also Slovene and she is uh, actually she was um, a commissioner for the transport. So 
uh, episodal project using kind of a platform with characteristics already mentioned about, but in combination with transport, packaging, transportation, insurances, insurances, insurances for artworks embedded in smart contracts, and also for artists for expositions or implementation directly in the landscape or villages' environmental architecture. Likewise, every item is traceable and instantly monetizable for this purpose. Uh, it, it was when, when I, I can uh, speak a little uh, bit uh, anecdotic, when I was uh, speaking with, uh, with me uh, about this presentation, so we, we have been uh, connected and been faced with a with a problem how to how to transport work here and how to for eventual exposition and how to all this so if this platform will be already in use it will be um, no problem. <laughs> so. so now uh, this is the problem I will use also online at the show. And um, there are different kinds of um, talk, uh, hybrid arts with video installations. Um, yes, so it's about. I will show also um, the present online. <laughs> so uh, it will it will run in the backwards uh, this video. This is on on uh, this platform I was mentioning. Um, if somebody has some questions, uh, please let me know, <laughs> or or comments or I don't know. But I don't know. There is no sound, so. Sorry.
All right, any question for her? Mesmerized by her performance? All right, thank you very much for that. I was just on the backstage, I was telling to the next speaker that now you have to outperform her now. So it's a challenge for him. And now I'll be inviting him. He's uh, Simon Zenius, uh, founder of Simon Zenius and Paul Ellis, coming all the way from Cyprus. He'll be discussing about not art, rather the legal side of the blockchain. And over to Simon. Simon. Simon Zenius. Managing Director, Simon Zenius and Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you for introducing me. And hello, everyone. Hello, dance. Hello, dance.